Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to create this accordion um, component which is usually used in uh, help and uh, customer service uh, pages and you're not going to need too much for this uh, video really. It's very basic and uh, the first thing we're going to need, we're going to need uh, to have these uh, things installed in our computer, uh, node and npm of course. Uh, you can use whatever ID you want but I use Visual Studio Code and also some extensions uh, in the Visual Studio Code. And these extensions you can actually find in the description below. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do npx create react app in order to create our template uh, react app. And then we wait a bit. And after a while our template is uh, done and we can do npm start to check that everything is working Okay, yes, and now we're going to delete uh, the stuff that we don't need from the template up. And of course, delete the code, the relevant code, so our app works. Uh -oh. Then the next step we're going to do, we're going to call, uh, to paste uh, the CSS, which I'm going to leave down in the description. And uh, yeah, basically this CSS is um, doing everything that uh, some basic stuff, but uh, I left out the animations we we're going to do together. Uh, but uh, yeah, all the basic stuff, the flex box, the colors, padding, margin are all included in this uh, starting CSS. And now uh, we can see that uh, nothing is shown because I haven't added any HTML yet. But we can uh, start adding our components. The first component I'm going to add is the header. And also I'm going to uh, generate the main component as well. And I'm going to generate some um, code inside the, the structure of the two components. And then I'm going to import them into the app, into the main app. And of course, I need to import them uh, above. Import header from uh, header. And also import uh, main from main. Yes, and now we can see that both of them are uh, are on the main app and then we can go on and uh, edit the header component and we're going to add a class name of the header container and inside we're going to create another div uh, sorry uh, the title first and the it's going to be called uh, the class is going to be called header text uh, one and it's going to contain content inside it and i also want to create um, sorry, content and services customer support. And then I also want to create uh, an H1 because we're going to have uh, more text below. And this is going to be called uh, How Can We Help You? So it looks like this. And now we can actually go to the main uh, component to start uh, um, developing here and inside we're going to create uh, another div which is, uh, is going to contain uh, the title, uh, the main title. It's going to, we're going to write most ask questions inside the uh, title and then we're going to create another div in order to have um, the an underline which would make it a bit uh, more pretty I guess. <laughs> Uh, pretty um, statement but uh, yeah just makes sense then I'm going to paste some data which I'm also going to leave down in the description so you can just uh, copy it and uh, basically it's just a question and basically what the answer to the question is uh, so I'm going to import this data into the main component And I am ready to map uh, the data 
inside the main component and uh, basically we're going to have uh, a section and an index because each uh, each value in, inside this uh, array in the, inside this data array is like a section and it's going to be an accordion section basically and um, the accordion is going to be a, a new component so i'm creating it right now it's going to be called accordion.jsx and i am generating the uh, template uh, component uh, code and i can actually uh, import it now there you go now i can actually uh, pass in uh, some props uh, the key uh, which is the index and also a prop that's called section which i'm going to pass in uh, uh, the section uh, data and of course i need to pass these props as parameters inside the comp the accordion component there you go section and key <clears throat> i'm going to create a, i'm going to develop the div now and i also want inside the accordion to have uh, another another a new um component that's going to be called expendable column and also another one that is called uh, the text section. And I am creating this component, the first one, expendable column. Down below, we can have many components inside a file, really. So that's what we're doing right now. And the expendable column, of course, uh, is going to return uh, more HTML, which is going to have a we're going to have a div with a class name of column container and inside we're going to put uh, just the column just to see how it looks first and then i am also going to copy this code and just write text section for the text section component and of course i'm going to put it uh, there so i can test so we have a column and a text section And then I can start uh, developing the expandable column a bit more. I'm going to have a div called uh, column text, where is going to we're going to have the text in here, and we're just passing in the text basically. It's just going to be a question, but uh, this we need to pass in, and basically it's going to be uh, from the section that we passed in, inside the accordion. It's going to be um, section dot question. And the props is uh, equals to the section dot question, section dot question, yeah. And we can see we have the questions right there, and we are ready to create the button, which is going to be called. It's going to have a class name of expendable button. We can't see anything there, but if I put an A there, you can see the A in the corner on the right. But this is not what we want. Uh, what we want is uh, we're basically going to fonts.google.com icons and we're going to look for the expand more uh, button and we can uh, copy this link and this link we're going to put it inside the index at html which is inside the public uh, folder right there and now we can actually copy the HTML for the icon, the expand more icon. So we have it right there and maybe we can check now. Yes, there's the icon right there on the right. That is pretty cool. And now I'm going to create the use open controller controller, which is a hook that would help us um, realize when we're going to have the ex the accordion to be open or not. So it's going to, I'm going to do export default function use open controller as a hook and it's going to take the initial state which is going to be a boolean uh, as a parameter. And then I'm going to start with creating a state variable which is going to be called is open and a setter for this state variable called set open state which is going to be basically initialized with the uh, initial state 
that we passed in as parameter, which is going to decide whether the this expandable column is open or not. So we need to import the use call body and the use state. Here we're going to need them, and then I'm going to create this function that's called toggle. And it's going to use use callback, and inside I'm going to put basically uh, the set open state to be the it's we're going to pass in the previous state, and then I'm going this to be the opposite. So basically, if you it's if it's open and I click on it, I want it to close. And uh, if it's uh, closed, I want it to open, basically. And I passed in, uh, as a conditional parameter, this set open state, uh, which is actually not correct. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, it's correct, right there is correct, but the return should not be, it should be the toggle, basically. Because we need that toggle function. And basically, I think we're done and we can actually use this controller. We're going to import it. And we're going to use it. Const is open and toggle. We need those uh, the return arguments from the uh, hook. You can see them right there. As a, remind, a reminder, and then we're going to make it equal to use open controller, and in the first state is going to be false, and we're going to pass this is open uh, boolean inside the expandable column, and also the toggler, the toggle. Yes, pass them in as uh, props. On our, and we're going to have an on click on the column on the expander because we want the whole is not just the button we want the whole uh, on click we could have easily just not included the button really you could just have the span right there but I, I thought it was uh, more appropriate to have a button there and inside the symbol I want to change the styling of it uh, I want to transform it uh, in order to rotate it, if uh, whether the whether th the expandable column is open or not, because we want the arrow to change according to whether it's open or not. So if it's open, I want you to turn around uh, one hundred eighty degrees. If not, just stay where you are. Basically. And I also want to put a transition because I want this to have um, a more smooth transition of 0 0.25 seconds. And we can see the symbol is turning up and down smoothly. Now we can start changing uh, the text section. I want the text section to uh, receive this is open because uh, I want to know whether I'm going, whether or not I'm going to show this uh, this text. So I'm also passing in the text, which is basically going to be section dot text, just like we passed the question before. Now we're passing in the actual text, which is hidden in the accordion, and then we also pass the props to the text section. Uh, actually, we don't need this. We don't really need this because we're going to put it on the parent. That's why I deleted it. Forgive me. <laughs> we're just passing the text, really. And uh, then I'm going to correct this because uh, I want to put... Basically, um, you want to put 
this uh, yeah so I made a mistake uh, I passed the question actually <laughs> So you can see I pass section to the answer and I get what uh, I needed. Yeah, it was a confusion with the names right there, but yeah. <clears throat> and I also would like to have an underline. And also I would like to, now we can put the conditional, the is open as a conditional, and you can see that uh, we have what we need. But this is not over, this is not, this is a styling nightmare, so we need to fix it a bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to, uh, first, I made a mistake, It's it needs to be a um, text container, not column container right there, so make sure to change it. Yes, text container, and under the text container, I'm going to put uh, the animation, which is going to be by using the key, add keyframes, I'm going to name the animation text animate. And it's basically going to have uh, the first state, the 0% state is going to have opacity of 0. And um, because we, we don't wanna want it to be seen and a max height of 15 pixels because it's hidden. And then I'm going to have opacity of 1 because I want to, it to be shown. And then max height of 200, uh, 350 uh, pixels. And of course, I also need to add this animation inside the text container. So animation is animation name is text animate, of course. <clears throat> and yeah, I also want to have animation duration of one second. So I believe everything is okay now, and we can see we have a better, smoother animation. Thank you for watching and please subscribe uh, and like and give me some feedback in order to create um, better, uh, better videos and whatever else you would like. Thank you.